Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Breaking news, Evan Etzebeth has officially been cleared and will take part in the test between South Africa and New Zealand this weekend at Ennis Park. It is Box versus All Blacks, the biggest rivalry in rugby and uh, who is soon going to be the, the box most capped player ever in Eben Etzebeth, will make his 125th appearance off the bench this weekend after initially not being named in the 23. Um, in a massive boost amidst a bit of a lock crisis for the box, to have arguably their best lock ever is a pretty big boost uh, for a pack, which was not looking maybe as menacing as it might have, but uh, interesting decision in itself to have him on the bench and not start it. So we're going to look at the side, exactly see how this thing changes. Uh, Mark of a starting drops out of the 23, which is also a very interesting decision in itself. Before we do that, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, this is now the updated 23. As you can see on the bench, Marco Bittstad drops out. Evan Etzebeth drop comes in, uh, which means that there's no a change to the starting locks. So Peter Steff, the toy, and Ruin Nokia will continue in that 4-5 combination. One imagines it's kind of a training thing. If they've trained that way uh, during the week, they would have had three sessions already. And uh, as a result, probably just don't want to tweak that. Um, and so uh, Etzebeth will uh, instead form part of a bomb squad. And I'll tell you what, in terms of adding players to a bomb squad, having somebody like an Evan Etzebeth coming off the bench will be a massive, massive boost to that. So in terms of the situation and, and why he's managed to get there, this is what Rusty Rasmus has had to say. He said uh, that our selection policy has always been that if a player does not train on a Monday, he will not play on Saturday. But Evan has made it through training pain-free all week. So we had to make the tough call to name it in the squad at the expense of Marku. He said there were backup options for us at lock in the initial squad, but with Evan on the bench, it means we have another specialist in that position in the team. We are blessed to have an expanded squad of about 45 players who have all brought, brought into our plans and who understand what's best for the team. And it's admirable how Marco accepted the news. It shows the quality of the player and the person he is. Um, also, big news is that uh, Stephen Kitsoff, Marty about Kenan Moody and Makazuma Pimpi have officially been rele released and will return to their provincial unions this afternoon to get game time this weekend. So it's you know it's all about squad management, isn't it? And and weighing up the pros and the cons and the likes. Now, if you look at the side, I think you know if you were to have Ibn Etzebeth in the starting, uh, you know, starting at four, Pierce Depp the two at five, um, we won't look here on on the on onto the bench. You'd be it's looking at, you know, I don't think this team gets a lot stronger with the current players we've got. It's a very different dynamic now, to be honest, still having Etzebeth on the bench because we're still looking at a lock combination which doesn't maybe inspire as much confidence as it would if it was Evan and Peter Steff the toy. Um, even if it was Evan and Ronald Kier to a certain degree, you know, somebody, you know, he's been playing out and out at, in the number four jersey for many years. So it's an interesting decision not to, not to start him, especially because... It is a niggle. It was an injury that was sort of preventing him from being named because traditionally, uh, this buff management actually usually start players that might be an injury case because if something happens, they can pull them off. Whereas if Evan gets put on on Saturday, for example, let's say at 50 minutes, we release the bomb squad. He comes on at about 50 minutes and then struggles or has an injury, you can't replace him. He kind of has to continue playing or else you know you can have to replace him with somebody else who's already on the bench. So that's also an interesting decision. Now, what I will say is the bench is going to bring a lot of impact. Um, Malcolm Marks, Fins and Cock, we know, you know that they bring. Keras Tindicamps had a really, really good time off the bench. He murdered the Irish guy when he came off the bench in that first test against Loftus. Uh, we know that SCB is going to bring a lot of physicality, a lot of power to the field. We know what Quaker Smith brings. We know Grant Williams brings in pace. Albert Lowe, for example, we've never really seen him deployed as part of the bomb squad. So uh, I'll be interested to see what his impact's going to be. But put it this way, if the box are ahead or in the balance when the sort of bomb squad comes on, I think that they should take the game. I genuinely think that this is going to add a tremendous amount of power and, and impetus to, to this Bok team um, when they can bring on that such firepower at altitude where, you know, New Zealand players have already been complaining about the altitude and how they're sort of struggling. Uh, it is not going to be as hot as it has going to be during the week, but it's not going to be cool on, on Saturday. It should be about 17 degrees, um, which is a lot warmer than what uh, some of the New Zealand players have been playing in recently, um, for example. And... Um, so it's going to be an interesting uh, occasion and an interesting sort of dynamic. So that is the final 23, unless there are any other injuries. What do you make of it? What changes would you make? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. 
Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.